Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Nur Akilah Zayani and I will be the representative for my group members which are Muhammad Azirin, Muhammad Azhari and Mugilan Our topic for assignment 2 is Condition Monitoring Analysis for Gear In this video, I will explain a little bit about gear analysis and equipment use In general, Yes, are two mechanical transmission elements used to transfer motion and power between machine components. And gear is a rotating part of the machine that has cut teeth or insert teeth in case of a cogwheel that mesh with another dented part to transmit torque. Gear may alter a power source speed, torque and direction. Gear also produce a torque shift almost always providing a mechanical advantage via their gear ratio and thus can be called a simple machine. When there are two or more machine gears, they are called a gear train or a transmission operating in a chain. And when two gears combine, if one gear is larger than the other, a mechanical benefit is created with the rotational speed and torque of two gears varying in relation to their diameters. Definite ratio of gears provided by the teeth provides an advantage over other gears, such as traction drive and V-belts. Next is the types of gear. There are few types of gear that we can conclude. First is internal gears. Internal gears have teeth cut on the inside of cylinders or cones and are paired with external gears. The main use of internal gears are for planetary gear drives and gear type shaft couplings. Second is the external gear. An external gear is one with the teeth formed on the outer surface of a cylinder or cone. Next is the spur gear. Spur gears or straight cut gears are the simplest type of gear. They consist of a cylinder or teeth with teeth projecting radially. Next, the fourth gear is helical gear. Helical or dry fixed gears offer a refinement over spur gears. The leading edges of the teeth are not parallel to the axis of rotation, but are set at an angle. The second last gear is double helical gear. Double helical gears overcome the problem of an axial truss presented by single helical gears by using a double set of teeth slanted in opposite directions. A double helical gear can be thought of as, of as two mirrored helical gears mounted closely together on a common axle. And the last one is bevel gear. A bevel gear is shaped like a right circular cone with most of its tip cut off. When two bevel gears mesh, their imaginary vertices must occupy the same point. Next, we proceed to the importance of machine condition monitoring and fault diagnosis for gear. Gear is one of the most important mechanical parts and is commonly used in automobile and other rotating machinery transmission design. Vibration monitoring is a valuable method for surveillance of system health. Gear condition monitoring and fault diagnosis can check the overall quality of the manufactured gear and also can provide insights to the efficiency and level of control of the manufacturing process. This monitoring action also can ensure that the parts are made to meet quality standards. Why The reasons why condition monitoring and fault diagnosis is important is listed as below. Next, for the equipment use, will be explained by Mugilan. Good day sir. And now I would like to present about equipment used for condition monitoring of gear, which is infrared camera FLIR A310 model. A thermographic infrared camera used as the main tool for data collection the continuous analysis of thermal action of the gearbox transmission mechanism on the assessment is then carried out by capturing photos. Diagnostic methodology used for identification and classification of different levels of uniform wear in the gears as a failure is in the transmission system of the gearbox. This technique consists of six stages. In the first step, in the first step, 
different condition of uniform wear, wear in the case are experimentally assessed under continuous working condition in the transmission system of the gear box. Then, the second step is continuous monitoring of the different condition under assessment and from constant observation, infrared photos are obtained. The third stage is identification of hot spots over the infrared picture with the goal of calculating the corresponding thermal matrix. In the fourth step, a statistical set of features from the free previous thermal matrices is estimated for each evaluated condition. Step is a dimensional reduction through linear discriminant analysis to obtain a visual representation of those considered condition in 2D room. The sixth step is automatically classify faults by the way of an artificial neural network. Thereafter, condition evaluation results in the destination of the various rates of uniform wear in the gearbox transmission systems are detected. Here is a figure that shows process to identify gear tooth wear in gearbox transmission system using infrared thermography. Here is the all six step which is shown in this figure. In conclusion, gear is an important component of rotating machines and the faults can be the cause of catastrophic breakdown. Hence, condition monitoring is very essential for detecting faults at gear.